people of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, people are elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at Purple Butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com and my soaps, Purple Butterfly soaps can be located at people dot etsy dot com. And it has arrived. Yep, yep. See that? Blue means it's fully charged. This on here very tightly. <laughs> is a Triton system which fits on a Triton tank. Now look at the size of this tank compared to my previous tank. Now guess what? This thing is a hybrid, y'all. This is my backup battery. This is my Triton system. And you're probably thinking, how's that sucker going to fit in there? Look how big the threads are on there compared to the threads on this. But look at the top. It actually fits on there. Now, this is when you would need a cone, so that way you don't have that futuristic-looking nonsense. Got a, oh, I suppose it would help if I turned it on, right? Got to And this tank, of course, is a bit bone dry because, well... I was trying to not use it, and it was supposed to arrive yesterday, and I've already filled this one up. It holds twice as much. So, let's get that on there. Snug, but not over tight, so I'm told. And I'm going to make sure I keep this little... Um, Part because the ones I have for mine, that's a whole different size. So, of course, that doesn't fit on there, as you can tell. And I want it to be able to fit if I need to go somewhere or whatever, so that way I don't have all the, you know, stuff from my purse wandering on through. So, let's see how it fits, shall we? Wow. I gotta put my cotton candy in here. Hmm. That was like a menthol blast straight to the nose. But look how long the wicks are in there. After I filled it up, I had to hold it upside down for about two minutes for to finally, you know, absorb all the goodness in the juice. And then I had to pour more juice in there because the wicks took up a lot of juice just getting saturated. So if you look really, really close, you can see a whole bunch of air right there at the top because it uses a lot, a lot, a lot of juice in those wicks, but then when it gets to the point where you're about out, okay, this is the wick from my previous system. You see how short those are? And when it dies, it dies. This cannot be refilled, which is why I had an issue with it. Well, it could be refilled. It couldn't be recycled. It couldn't be rebuilt, whatever. This can. Yep. And you can't accidentally puff. You have to press that button. And it lights up purple because it's a purple battery. So, of course, I got a purple tank. I do intend to still get the Princess Pink, but I figure if this is just um, what I'm getting in the interim when I get the kit, I don't want the batteries to be confused with each other because this is 
um, shall we say, a low battery. In other words, it doesn't have as much power as the system that I want. So you don't want to get them confused and go, well, that's not really lasting very long. Well, of course not. If you got a 400, 480 ohm battery, or MA, or whatever they call those early scientific terms for resistance, or battery, um, I never know what's the scientific type, and y'all know that. And then the one that you want has 980 on the juice factor, and by juice, I mean the power. Then you don't want to get those mixed up, get all ticked off, this ain't acting right, blah, 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 and it's the wrong ohms. You know what I mean? So I just figure different color. I mean, this is a different color than my MIG-6, which is same color, different size. The MIG has a button because it's a manual. It lights up blue. This lights up red. This is silver and shiny and doesn't light up. You can see the uh, keys on my um, phone. But you don't see fire. It lights up here instead. I like this. You know what? I'm going to have to lower the nicotine level so that way if I use an all-day vape, you know, because after three hits of this, I'm already full on the nicotine level, and it cleared up my sinuses, <laughs> which means I would just say three puffs and I'm done. But if I use the vapor I got over there where it's 6%, I could just puff all day. So that is my Halo Triton tank that will fit my clear fusion tank or any 808 threaded. It'll fit my... Um, little cartridges. I'm going to show you that too. I think I'm going to buy a cone to go with this so that way when I just want to do it that way I can. Uh, hold on. Let me get all these little teeny ones out the way. And that way, if I want to do a flavor, but I don't have any extra tanks, I can just flip on over to the cartridges. Ta-da. Is that cool or what? But they do have a tank that turns that into a smoother look. That was the thug juice. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go play. I'm going to take off these glasses. And, oh, by the way, don't make it too tight here. You can, but then you might run into resistance issues. And they tell you how to fix that. This came with this very cute but not really useful card with all the itty bitty writing. So small that even with my glasses, I can't read half of that. I was going to need a magnifying glass. But it's a real good graphic of the Halo logo to remind you to get some juice and where to get the juice. It looks like a flag. I like that. And then it has this useful bit of information for using your juices the first time with the Halo system because it definitely needs steeping, so forth and so on. But I already have my pre steep Mount Baker Vapor juice. And I got this much left. So basically, 
Next order, I'm going to either get another box, uh, bottle this big or even bigger of my favorite choices. Just like my thug juice. Y'all have all seen this, and it fits in the little mixy case in the smaller compartments. And I do intend to try the Halo juice, but I just switched to a new system, so I'm not going to shock my system too much. I'm going to get used to the vapor from the Triton tank system. Then I'll try a different juice, probably with a, I mean, these tanks come in like nine different colors as well as the battery. So then if I decide to try something, I'll try it in a different tank, and if I don't like it, I'm not stuck with trying to clean out this taste and that taste. It's like, hey, it's like I had the cartridges, you know, still in use from different sources. It's an 808 thread. As you've seen, the 808 fit on here. So say for instance, I just want a little bit of my black cherry, but black cherry is a flavor that I do every now and then, but not continuously. Great time for the cartridge. Juicy peach is one that I use on occasion, but not continuously. Um, the Mount Baker Vapor Peach is one that I use all the time. The taste is different, okay? And then this, all these, the little ones from this company, this is a 10 meg bottle, and well, 10 middle, milliliter bottle, but if you notice, it has a red 12 there. This has a red 12 because that's the level of nicotine. These are 16s. I have a couple of 6s. I have a couple of zeros. So basically, if I am out of 18, but I still need my nicotine, or if I want to vape longer, I use a lower setting. Like, there are some juices... It's literally flavor, you know, there's no nicotine in it, but I could puff with it all day long and not have to worry about, oh, you're putting too much nicotine in because there is no nicotine in that. So, uh, oh, let's talk about the battery. That's a halo battery, and it has more itty-bitty writing on there about, um what the ohm and the wattage is, so forth and so on, and not to use this with a G6 system. Don't use G6 system with a Triton tank. Now, the tank for the G6 system won't fit on here. So I figure if I'm going to get a hybrid that encompasses all the stuff I use, might as well get a Triton tank system because, as you've seen, it's... Reverse compatible. Everything G6 will fit on your Triton. Everything from the MIG will fit on the Triton. Everything from all these other little systems I got will fit on my Triton. But when it comes to the battery, the G6, and I noticed, you know, it's smaller right there. That should have been the first giveaway that, yeah, that'll fit on an 808. But if you go by the size of that tank, <laughs> you don't think so at first. But everything Triton, when it comes to the battery, has to be Triton. If you have a G6 battery, don't use it on your Triton. Trust me, that's irrevocable but damage, and it will not be replacing. This stuff costs too much money to just say, eh, well, it looks the same. You know, that's like this battery. I mean, you could just tell the difference. That's my Triton. This is some generic. They just look different. That has a little thing on the side that blocks off half of it. And then this one is a whole different company. It looks different. You see what I'm saying? But more importantly, how much wattage and stuff like that it has on the inside will ruin this because this is made for this and it should only be used for this. That's why I have a single battery over here and I have a switch battery over here and I have a, uh, I know it's in here because I put it in here yesterday. 
Neat Seek battery over here, which really looks different on the inside. I'll show that to you too. Look. One has like a, what looks like a hole, and that one has a flat top. That's from the MIG. But I only use the MIG with the MIG. I only use the Sitco with the Sitco. I only use the Swish with the Swish. The Waterman or whatever that KR808D thing is, that came with a certain system. It only gets used with that system. So, that being said, I'm going to go play with the bright purple purpleness of it all. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. And while I'm playing around with this and getting used to it and refilling and all that stuff, I have some research to do on stearic acid. And that means I will be making a new soap because it's a new ingredient for me. The ingredient has been around for years and years and years and centuries and centuries and centuries because it's a derivative of um, a natural product. Um, palm oil, basically it's concentrated palm oil, but you use it in a powdered form instead of, you know, oil. So before I go and experiment with the soap, I first am going to do some research with the soap because, you know, ingredients are too expensive to go say, oh, well, I seen other people do it. I'll try it. I don't do that. No. First thing I do when I'm trying a new ingredient, I get out one of these. <laughs> I make notes. I ask people, what have your experience been? I do research, so forth and so on. And then when I make something small, to test out the new ingredient, I make little notations. When I make something larger, I make little notations. By the time I get to a big old five-pound batch, trust me, I know everything that can go wrong, has gone wrong, will go right, is guaranteed to never fail on a particular ingredient. So that's just the reality I live in is like I don't... I mean, this is stuff I'm paying my money for, so I don't dilly-dally when it comes to my money. And then by the same token, because I do all the due diligence, as it were, when I make a product that's safe for me, I know for a fact it's safe for you. It has to be gentle for me, so I know for a fact it will be gentle for you because I have a lot of allergies. The people that buy my soaps might not be allergic to a single thing that I sell, but... If it's safe for me, I know for a fact it's safe for you because I'm not going to use anything. Like, I don't use certain nut oils because I'm allergic to nut oils, which means if it takes my breath away just from the touch of make a rash or whatever, then that means anybody else that's allergic to those same nut oils is going to have a problem. Well, my stuff is safe for me and my nut allergy, so that means I could put with confidence on my Etsy page, will not cause an issue with those that are allergic to nut oils because that won't be in there. So if there's a problem, everybody going to know about it because you know I'm going to be on YouTube saying, this product did so, so, and so because my allergy is thus, you know. But by saying, token, anything that's great, y'all going to know about that too. And I'm telling you right now, Get one, get one, get one. Make sure it says halo somewhere on it because otherwise you're dealing with a generic and that ain't fun. Y'all stay blessed, stay too. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. This has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube. People are elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com and my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at people.etsy.com. Bye. Bye